guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm talking about sunscreens and these are my recommendations for 2022. So this is the large sunscreen video that I upload every year. And if you haven't seen last year's and the year before, I will leave those videos below for you in my description box as well as up here. Because in today's video, I have a lot of new sunscreens that you have never heard me talk about before. And I've been putting them to the test over the last several weeks and months. And towards the end of this video, I will share a couple that are my holy grails that I honestly could not live without but other than that I am NOT going to be sharing any other type of sunscreen that you have heard me talk about because I don't want these yearly videos to be repetitive so you need to go and check out last year's and the year before because you will see different sunscreens in those videos that I will not be talking about today and I still love them I still recommend them and I still use them on and off as well so let's get into today's video but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. So majority of all of the sunscreens that I'm going to be sharing in this video are all mineral, also known as physical sunscreens. And I much prefer to use this type of formulation because mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin. They are not absorbed into the skin like chemical sunscreens. And chemical sunscreens can be irritating for a lot of skin types and you also get that gross sunscreen smell as well which I absolutely despise and to have that on the face it just gives me a headache and I really don't enjoy chemical sunscreens. Now there are some nice ones out there and sometimes that scent is very mild and I can tolerate it but I much prefer to use mineral because they're more gentle on the skin and if you're somebody even with sensitive skin then mineral may be a better option for you to look into. Now I also really enjoy hybrid sunscreens as well and these contain both chemical and mineral formulations and I do have a lot of sunscreens that are hybrids that I really do like but I much prefer mineral like I said. So the first sunscreen that I'm going to be talking about first is one that I just recently picked up during the Sephora sale and it's by Supergoop and this is the Sheer Screen which is 100% mineral. So this contains a 17.5% percent zinc oxide. This sunscreen contains a satin finish, so it's not greasy at all, it's not mattifying, it looks like your skin, and I also thought that this formulation would give my skin that white cast, because with physical slash mineral sunscreens, these tend to leave a white cast for some skin tones, and I have pretty fair skin, and I can experience this quite a bit. So depending on your skin tone, honestly, it really is trial and error with any mineral sunscreen. Even tinted sunscreens can sometimes leave a slight white cast of the skin if they're not pigmented enough. So this one actually does not leave a white cast on my skin whatsoever and this gets quickly absorbed into the skin without leaving your skin sticky, tacky, and greasy. There are so many sunscreens on the market that leave your skin really greasy and when you touch it, you know, you have that residue on your hands, sometimes your hair gets stuck to your face, but this one is beautiful, and this actually acts as a makeup primer as well. Your makeup sits so nicely on top of this. I have never experienced peeling with this either. This also contains squalene, so that nice moisturizing ingredient, and I do have the mini size here because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, so I did purchase the 20 mil size, but when this is finished, I am purchasing the larger size. This is wonderful. So let me show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like there. You can see that it's not too runny. It does have that thick texture, but when you spread this across your skin, the formulation is very thin and lightweight and it spreads very nice and your skin quickly absorbs this as well. There is no scent or fragrance to this either and I also find that I don't have to wait as long for this to dry down before I apply my makeup. Normally I will wait a good 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes even a half an hour if I have time to allow my sunscreen to fully absorb but because this is quick drying and it doesn't leave any residue on the skin, I can wait a good 5 to 10 minutes and then go right in with my makeup. 
The next sunscreen is by Pharmacy, and this is the Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen Lotion, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this one here contains a zinc oxide of 18.23%. This is also another formulation that sits nice underneath makeup and with other types of moisturizers, like different textures and consistencies. And I also find that this acts as a nice makeup primer as well, but I do find that the Super Goop really makes your makeup last even longer throughout the day compared to this one but this also wears nice on its own now I will say that this gives a slight slight white cast to my skin it's probably something that you wouldn't notice on me but if I were to really analyze my skin in the mirror there is a slight cast but once you go and put makeup on honestly you wouldn't even notice that and I thought I would just mention that because again I do have pretty fair skin so if your skin tone is a little bit darker it's possible that you could see a white cast with this one I also find that this formulation is very lightweight but the texture of this is a little bit thicker than the super goop so I do find that this takes a little bit longer to dry down on the skin so I would have to wait a good 15 to 20 minutes before applying my makeup on top of this this is also quick absorbing but I just find that you do get that residue on your skin and it does stay there for a good 20 to 30 minutes before it completely dries down but if you have time to wait that long, then perfect. If you don't, you can still put your makeup on top of this, even if your skin is tacky. I just like to wait before applying my makeup. That's just something that I like to do, but if you don't do that, that's totally fine. You do you. But this is 50 mils of product, and I do think that this is a lovely one for all year round. This is great for all skin types as well. There's no fragrance, and I just really love this one. So let me show you what this one looks like on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like. It really doesn't look any different than the Super Goop in terms of the thickness. And when you spread this across the skin, it does spread really nice as well. And I also find that this will give your skin a little bit of that sheen, more so than the Super Goop. So if that wouldn't bother you, then of course this would be a great option to go with. Your skin isn't going to look greasy and really shiny. I will say that your skin won't look like that. But if I were to really compare it to the Super Goop, this does leave a little bit more of that sheen to the skin, but I really like it and I also love that dewy complexion anyways, so this works really well on my skin. The next one is by Pipette and this is the Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 and this has a zinc oxide of 20%. Now I have never tried anything from this brand before and I had heard a lot of great reviews on this and of course I had to try it for myself and I am very, very impressed with this. Now this doesn't actually say it's a face or a body sunscreen, it doesn't say. So in my opinion you could use this for your body as well as for your face. And I will be using this on my body this summer and I have been using this on my face and my neck already and I really love it. So this is great for all skin types but if you have dry skin I think this is going to be your go-to because of how moisturizing it is. You honestly could skip a moisturizer for spring and summer. I don't know about winter because I haven't tested this out yet in the winter months but for spring and summer you don't even need to use a moisturizer underneath. This is quite moisturizing on its own. It does have glycerin, it does have squalene. If you have combination to oily skin, you can definitely skip a moisturizer. And I do find that this one is a little bit more greasy on the skin. It does have a nice sheen to it, but for me, I like that. But for somebody who has oily skin, you might find it to be too shiny. So what I would recommend is to grab a tissue and just blot your face prior to using your makeup and your foundation. Or if you don't use makeup, then just blot your face before you go out for the day. Or of course, you can just powder on top of it if you want to, or skip this altogether. It really is up to you and what you like. But I actually really like it, and it really gives my skin that nice glow when I have makeup on top. And this is beautiful. It really is. So this is fragrance-free, and this is clean and this is a little bit more liquidy than the other two but it still has that nice lightweight texture without it feeling heavy 
and sticky on the skin and you're also getting 120 mils of product as well. So that's what it looks like and this does spread really nice. Your skin does absorb this pretty quickly and I do get a slight white cast with this but it's nothing too noticeable in my opinion and I do like to wait a good 20 to 25 minutes prior to applying my makeup just to make sure that this is completely absorbed into the skin. The next one is by The Inky List, and this is the SPF 30 Sunscreen 100% Mineral UV Filters, and this contains a zinc oxide of 22%. This is also a tinted formulation as well. Now, I'm not sure if Canadians can purchase this. I will do my research and I will let you know in the description box below. This was gifted to me not too long ago, and I've been using it on and off since then, and I really love it, so I hope that I can find some somewhere online where Canadians can purchase this because I would love for you to try this out if you can. But this is very lightweight. It does help to even out my skin tone, especially on those no makeup makeup days. I generally don't like using tinted sunscreens underneath foundation because I feel like it just gives my skin too much color and I don't need that. So I only use this on those no makeup days. And it just keeps my skin looking skin-like. It is a little bit on on the matte side but nothing where it dulls out your skin it doesn't dry my skin out it doesn't make my skin feel tight my skin is quite comfortable because this contains 2% shea butter so it's very moisturizing and this would be great for all skin types but again I much prefer a sunscreen that gives a little bit more glow than what this gives my skin but again this is a great option I could just use a dewy moisturizer beforehand which I have and then of course my skin Skin looks nice and glowy after. So this is also fragrance free and I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. I would also recommend for you to shake this really well before applying it to your skin just so that it's nice and blended because if you don't you will notice that you will have some dark liquid that will come out so shake it really well. So that's what it looks like so it's not too tinted which I can appreciate because there's a lot of tinted sunscreens out there that are just way too dark for my skin skin tone but this one blends right into my skin and it matches my skin tone perfectly so it spreads nice my skin does absorb this pretty quickly as well this does have a thicker texture to it but it's really moisturizing and that's why it's a little bit thicker it almost feels like a moisturizer and as you can see it's already absorbed into my skin so it's just enough to disguise that white cast the next one is by La Roche-Posay, and this is one of my favorite drugstore brands when it comes to sunscreen. And this is the Anthelius Mineral SPF 50 Ultra Fluid, and this is the Tinted, and this has a light finish. Perfect for all skin types, including those that have sensitive skin. And so I find that if I ever have irritated skin or my skin tends to be a little bit sensitized for whatever reason I really do like to resort to this one because a lot of the La Roche-Posay products are targeted for sensitive skin and I love the Bomb B5 and I love a lot of their other products as well that is for irritation and this one is beautiful. I also really love how lightweight this is. It's thinner. This formulation is pretty watery as well but I do find that it spreads really nice and your skin does absorb this pretty quickly as well and it does give enough tint to the skin to eliminate that white cast. So this actually contains a titanium dioxide of 11%. You are getting 50 mils of product and I do recommend to shake this really well before applying it to your skin and this also sits really nice underneath makeup as well but again I generally don't like using tinted sunscreens with foundation but for the sake of this video and for a review I did test this out underneath CC creams as well as regular foundation and it was beautiful and it actually worked really well. And as you can see it does have that liquid lotion consistency and you can see how nicely it spreads and it does give my skin that nice added color but without it being too dark. 
I just really love this because it almost has a powdery finish once it's completely absorbed into the skin, which of course it is right now. And it just leaves your skin nice and comfortable without it being too greasy or sticky or tacky, but it still gives my skin that added glow as well, which of course I really, really love. So the remaining sunscreens that I'm going to be sharing are the ones that I like to use on a weekly basis. These are some favorites and holy grails and I cannot recommend these enough. You've also heard me talk about these in past videos, so I'm not going to review them. I'm not going to show you what they look like on the back of my hands because I've already done that. So I will link up some related videos for you below in my description box in case you would like more information on them. So the first one is by Dermatology and this is the Physical Tinted Moisturizer. SPF 44 that contains a universal tint. According to dermatology, they say that this tint will work on all skin tones. It works really well on mine, especially when I'm self tanning. But if I don't have self tanner on, sometimes it can look a little bit too dark where it doesn't match my neck completely, but it doesn't look too noticeable in my opinion. That's just me being picky. So I could use this all year round if I wanted to, and you would probably not even notice, but this is wonderful. It's moisturizing. You honestly don't need to use a separate moisturizer beforehand if you don't want to, because of course this is a moisturizer. And just make sure that you are applying the proper amount to get that SPF protection, which is SPF 44. With all of the sunscreens that I shared in today's video, you want to apply approximately two to three finger lengths of sunscreen to get that proper SPF number and that is really important so if you're going to use this as a sunscreen then you want to apply two to three finger lengths of sunscreen or you can apply a regular sunscreen beforehand and then just use this on top for that added color if you want to do it that way as well so dermatology is a medical grade skincare company and this contains a zinc oxide of 10 percent and a titanium dioxide of 5.5 percent so again this is all mineral and this contains 59 grams of product the next one is by Paula's Choice, and you all know how much I love this one. And this is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So again, this is all mineral, and this contains a zinc oxide of 13%. This has a lot of great skincare ingredients. There's resveratrol in here, which is an antioxidant, and antioxidants will protect our skin from the environment. They also treat signs of aging as well. I also find that this is very lightweight, and it does have a silky texture to it. It leaves my skin skin-like with that velvety feel, and Paula's Choice actually says that this is mattifying, but in my opinion, this doesn't give you matte-looking skin. It might give your skin a slight matte look but honestly this is very skin like and it looks very natural and that's why I really like this one and I do like to use this underneath my foundation and my foundation my CC creams sit so nice underneath this and it does have that beigey tone to it so it really does help to disguise that white cast Paula's Choice also says that this is great for normal, oily combination skin. I completely agree. If you have dry skin and your skin tends to be quite flaky, you may find that this isn't going to be moisturizing enough and you may also find that this formulation may accentuate your flakiness, your dry patches. So I would say this is more for normal oily combination skin types, but this is amazing and this is also 60 mils of product. I also really love the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This contains a zinc oxide of 16% and this also has a nice beigey tone to it to help eliminate that white cast. This is a great sunscreen if you're looking for anti-aging ingredients. So this contains ferulic acid, which is an antioxidant. There's polyglutamic acid in here. There's sea buckthorn, there's vitamin E, and the list goes on. There are so many wonderful skincare ingredients in here to treat signs of aging, but this is also very moisturizing as well. It gives a nice glow to the skin, sits perfectly with or without makeup, and I really love it. I highly recommend this. You're also getting 50 mils of product and this is a little bit 
thinner, so you do have to shake this really well, but it spreads beautifully, and this is also fragrance-free. The next one I have here is by Ilia, and I do have a video on this where I apply it to my skin on those no makeup makeup days, so I will link that video below. And this is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40, and this contains niacinamide, squalene, hyaluronic acid, and the list goes on when it comes to skincare ingredients. This also has a zinc oxide of 12%, and there are many different shades to pick from. I have it in the color Aura, but I also have it in the color Tulum, and sometimes I will mix the two, especially when I'm not self-tanning, but when I am self-tanning and during the summer months, I use Aura, and this is beautiful, and it also gives a nice glow to the skin, and it's quite moisturizing as well. I also really love the Color Science SPF 50 Mineral Loose Sunscreen. This is what I use throughout the day to reapply my sunscreen on a full face of makeup. And this helps to reapply that sun protection without disrupting my makeup look and this works really well. So there's four shades to pick from. I have it in the color medium. So you flip it upside down, you bang the bottom really well, you flip it back around and then of course you have this nice fluffy brush and then of course you just start applying it all over your skin like that. Of course, you're not going to get the same sun protection as if you were applying a liquid sunscreen back on top, but this just makes life so much easier when you are somebody that wears a full face of makeup, and I use this all the time. I throw it in my bag, I have one in my bathroom, I have one all over the place, and these are super convenient. This also has a zinc oxide of 22.5% and a titanium dioxide of 22.5%. They also just came out with a glow option. So it's a powder that is supposed to give your skin that added glow and I'm really intrigued so I may look into that next but this one is great. And the last sunscreen that I'm going to be talking about in this video is a hybrid and this is by Ulta MD and this is the UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I've been using this for a very long time and this is one of my holy grails. I really love the way that this applies to my skin. There is no tint but there is a tinted option if that is your thing. Thing, and this sits amazing with or without makeup. No pilling whatsoever with this and I really love that this contains hyaluronic acid and this is very lightweight and sheer and I never get a white cast with this one. So this contains a zinc oxide of 9% and a octanoxate of 7.3%. So those are all of my sunscreen recommendations for 2022. I really hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. And of course, I will leave everything that I shared in today's video below for you for your reference. Let me know if you use any of these sunscreens. Will you be trying some of these out? And what is your holy grail sunscreen? I love a good recommendation, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. Take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.